Manchester United 3, Arsenal 2. <laughs> and tonight, I have no shame. Arsenal fans, hold it. You have no bragging rights. Oh, no, they don't have non CM. All of the band are just to lose. You must be bitter right now. <laughs> you know what? Guess you just have to take your time with it. And now keep it on a game by game basis. Focus on yourselves, in it, rather than others. <laughs> uh, but now I see him. Listen, one thing I'll say is big up Michael Carrick for taking over these three tough games and getting valuable results. Started with Villarreal, a must. Must result, just get a win, a draw, anything, and we got the win in that. Drew against Chelsea, which is a good result looking at things and how they've been going, and a win against Arsenal to end it off. Listen, um, two wins, a draw, and as reported after the game, he will be stepping down as the first team coach. So hats off to you. Hats off to you, Michael Carrick. Thank you for your service, your long, long, very valuable and brilliant years of service at the club of Manchester United you will always be a legend of some sort and you can always come back and pat on your team big up Michael Carrick back to the game though CM Mr. Renat let me just start it off like let me just start it let me just start it off like that real quick congratulations on 801 career goals mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's absolutely superb. You can't keep him out. He scores goals. If anything, he has proven that over his career. So for you to sit there, or not you, Sam, but other people, and get hypnotized by all this gibberish, it's, it's poor from you, really. Ronaldo scores goals. He has and always will in his sleep. This coming week though is going to be interesting. Facts. Think about it, you guys. In the comment section below, how are you feeling? Because Crystal Palace next after... I can't even talk right now, I'm buzzing, but Crystal Palace next under Ralph Ragnick. How will he change the team? Will there be a difference in how we play? You know, surely I want to see an aggressive United, organized mm -hmm. pressing, hunting like a pack of wolves. The time is now. Come straight away. If anything, if anything positive is going to happen to us, it will be in this era. So where will it take us, CM? All we can do is sit back and see. Sit back and pray. And once again, let everything else unfold. Amen. What do you have to say, man? <laughs> Crucial win for us going into the Ralph Ragnick era. Getting the win was all that mattered and we got it. Started very sloppy. I thought both teams started a little bit sloppy. But in the end of the day, the scoreline was 3-2 to Manchester United. <laughs> you know, we finally won and scored at home after conceding nine goals without reply. It was a win we needed. The mood will be good in the camp as a new era dawns. Fred in the second half was, you know, his whole game really was identical to Chelsea. Poor first half and then was like a madman in the second half and in a good way. You know, get into the balls first before anybody else. Tackling, making last ditch tackles, blocks, all of that stuff in the second half. Fred was good. He was good. You know, I am one to say every player needs a clean slate, but in the middle of the season also, you need to see what kind of form a player is in and how you can get consistency out of all of the players in the squad, really. So, for example, when Marcus came back from injury, he scored a few goals, looked lively, but since then, he hasn't looked at it on the left or right. His intensity on the pitch is not good enough at the moment, and that just adds to the poor decision making on the pitch currently. You know, gotta give credit to Maguire. He came through with some crucial plays at the end. Lindelof played well. The 
two fullbacks absolutely surprised me. <laughs> Trust me, Cappy. Um, you know, the low, even more so. I said before the game, they will be tested defensively, and I was quite worried. They weren't perfect, but there were positives to build on. So now, what we need is a level of competitiveness in this squad. I have alternative options. Ralph will assess all of the players we have and see who is best for what he's trying to do with the club. Mm -hmm. It's now time for the squad to respond because there's nowhere to hide. So some of these guys need to find their strides before the good times get fried. <laughs> Drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new and let us know how you're feeling after that game Man United fans, even Arsenal fans, let us know in the comment section below. And until the next time, I'll see you lots in a bit. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, everything free, no need for a criminal, mind control, all subliminal, Twitter, TikTok, Insta, digital, join this crew, follow my Twitch and I might rape you, if you pass through ends in this my gang, bust down doors or phase right through.